Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Civilization, and of course we are playing as Belgium, which is a modded Civilization. We have a lot of mods installed, and we're uh, we're trying to take over the world, but uh, but unfortunately Germany seems to be expanding at a very very rapid rate. So this is part five, and uh, and in part four we founded a new city, and uh, and we're definitely trying to expand our presence in the world. And we've made some plans to increase our influence over a nearby city-state, and that's what we're going to be aiming for this episode. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's get stuck in and, and see what happens. So, in the next four turns, we will see all of our cities growing, which is really, good, which is really, really good news. Um, and we are somehow friends with Vatican City. Uh, that's that's great. I'm pretty happy with that. Don't know how it happened. Guess it did. Uh, we have a city connection to Ghent, which is even better because it means we can transport resources there. Uh, and of course, we get a little bit of extra happiness for it, which is also a, a good bonus. Um, worker, where can you go? Where can you go? Yeah, you could build iron, but going all the way up there seems a bit illogical. So, we're going to keep you down here, and we're going to get you to build a mine over here. Great. And now that you're done, you can come up here, and you can build a mine. Great. Next turn. Fantastic. I am very happy with the progress that we're making. We have three very strong cities. Uh, Ghent is growing at a fast rate. Yes, let us work together. Portugal. I don't really know where you are on the map. You are over here, I think? Yes, you're over here. Um, and I think we are playing on the world map, which means we are... This is China, I think? Oops, theology. Medieval era. Um, yeah, we are, of course, playing, playing on the Earth map. So I am thinking that... This is, yeah, sorry. This is this is Vietnam sort of area, and this is the eastern eastern coast of China, which is good. That's a good place to be. Um, what is our next social policy tree? Patronage is always a good one. Commerce is always a good one. Um, exploration probably not. I think we're gonna go with well let's go with let's, let's go with patronage why not uh, some of the bonuses that you can get from from patronage are quite good so so we'll do that you can go there and everybody else is busy good we could probably get rid of some of these warriors um, but but we'll we'll send you over here for now um, you can head up to Germany see what's see what's going on we've got a wee force there Obviously, it's very, very weak in comparison to what he's got. I think he's got swordsmen and the like. But, uh, but you know, better something than nothing. Yep, yeah, look, he's got a swordsman. Um, and that settler looks dangerous. And that's not something that we can really afford to... Uh, can't really afford to let them settle near us. Great. Yeah, no, we, we cannot afford for them to settle near us so let's uh, let's create a let's wall it off let's wall this area off yeah that's good 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 put you back there okay so possibly uh, not the cheapest way of, um, of of getting rid of the German problem but uh, but we really do not need any more German cities on our doorstep. Hagia Sophia, we don't need that. That's just a gimmick for us, really, at the moment. I mean, what? One religion? No, no religions can be founded, so it's, there's not much point. Um, water mill, that would be good. Two food, one production, but it's two maintenance. Um, that's not really a concern for us. We've we've got the money for it, um, so let's do it. Choose production in Ghent. I think a monument in Ghent would uh, would go a long way. You can stay on alert, you can stay on alert, and you can stay on alert. You can continue with that farm over there, 
and you can build a mine here. What have we got for you to do? Um, yeah, go. I think we need a bit more growth. So go build a farm over here, um, or a terraced farm if we can do that. We might not be able to. Yeah, and you be on alert as well. Seven turns remaining until the new election starts. I I doubt we're ever going to get. <laughs> we're ever going to win one of those things. Yeah, that's not really too much of a concern for us. Um, but I am actually quite pleased with the way Ghent is growing. Um, they've uh, they've they've really shot up, and now that we've connected iron, we could probably start producing some uh, some more serious weaponry, such as swordsmen. Um, if we if we unlock it through research, yeah. How, what do we unlock a terrace farm? It's plus one production. Yeah, or mine. That's plus two production. It recommends build a farm over there. Well, it's going to do the... Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go over there. Might as well. Um, Caravan. Yes, we can establish a trade route. And we want to establish it to Cape Town. So they are happy with us. That's what we want. Vatican City. How... They want you to discover a natural wonder. Well, that's not happening. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, just continue, just continue working up here. Just keep keep up the good work, guys. You guys can be stationed around around this sort of area, and and we'll try and keep these two workers down in this area. Now, a new city. Do we need a new city? I do not think we do, um, unless we find a sufficiently good place to build one. There is no point in in building another settler. Just does not seem worth it, considering we've got you know three fairly strong cities. Um, monument upgrade. Do I really want to do that? School of Scribes. Let's go for that. Um, no, there does not seem like much point in building another city, considering you know we've got we've got three decent cities, um, all with decent production and decent growth rates and and pretty much everything is is pretty decent overall. Thankfully, Vatican City is uh, is walling off. Any any German uh, possible settlers from settling around here, but it does look like they have settled a city up here. That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. What are you What are you gonna get out of that city? Like the dies are already in reach of Berlin. I I do not understand why you would do that. That does not make any sense at all. So Cape Town, are you happy with us? You need another 13 influence. Well, as soon as we... Can we, we can build a diplomat or an, a missionary, can't we? Yeah. Let's do that. Four turns and then we can build the school, the school scribes. Um, you... We're, let you go spy on the German border up here. And what are we researching at the moment? Are we are we going for something specific? We're going for civil service into education. Oh yeah, so we are. Um, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna say we need to explore the rest of the world. So let's go for astronomy. I mean, why not? get that up there good so we'll get sailing in one turn which means we can start sending uh, boats out and it looks like we are connected by uh, by a Portuguese cargo ship and we're trading with them that is good news this is uh, this is more welcome news to Brussels who, uh, who accepts who accepts the trade gladly um, we haven't we haven't been a warmongering state. We've uh, we've been very calm, very controlled, and uh, and very polite. I think towards towards all our friends. What can you build over here? Yep, build a farm there. You can build a mine here, and you can be dismissed because we do not need you anymore. Sorry, no. Let's get rid of you. Yeah, sorry about that. Needed to happen. Too many workers. Um, we 
we have nothing really in, in range of us that's a luxury. So we shall uh, we shall build a trireme. We'll build two. Why not? We can go one either way. I doubt we're going to get very far, but uh, but we'll see how it goes. Should be easy enough. Uh, I am looking forward to having this missionary. It means we can finally uh, finally fully influence Cape Town, which is exactly what we want. And that'll mean we have access to their many luxury resources that we do not have, which is absolutely phenomenal news. I think somebody's already built the Great Lighthouse. I think that's already happened. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so that scout is blocking that way there. So we're gonna head down here. Great. Um, you are coming up here. You, I think you can be dismissed. There's pretty much nothing that I want you to do. I do not want them getting hold of that marble though. We are buying those tiles. Yeah, we need that marble. Go over there and build that quarry. Then you can be dismissed. Now we did take a wee bit of a financial hit in buying that, but uh, but having having marble is is a huge get for us. Um, it can up our production. Um, I think the, yeah, the great lighthouse has already been built, which is uh, which is not too much of a concern for us. But it would have been nice to get. But hey ho. Um, stable, stable would be pretty good. Uh, would increase our production just a little bit more. School of Scribes, plus 25% production when building diplomatic units. Plus one science, plus one gold for trade routes connected to the city. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Compass, Galias. That is a very, very important ship for us and definitely one that we need to aim for. Um, pretty much... As soon as we unlock compass, we need to start. Re we need to start uh, getting some of those, because they they will hopefully lead into us, uh, into our battleships, which are very important units for uh, for the sea. This is taking a long time. This uh, production of this missionary is taking a long ass time. No idea why it's taking so long. They move so slowly. They move so so slowly. Yeah, build that there. Wow. Germany is uh, is looking quite strong. Yeah, you build a water mill. Let's up your food. Let's increase your growth rate. I wonder if Germany's gonna settle any more new cities. Where where would they realistically maybe another city over here? Possibly. We would like to set up an embassy in your capital. Six gold per turn. Six gold. Yeah, I can do that. I have extra silk. Might as well. And that was quite a good deal anyway. Sid's Sushi. Sid's Sushi. Stone Town. Gain two additional trade routes and sea trade routes originate from the city. A 50% increase in range. Cities must be built on the coast. That's probably something we can go for. Yeah, don't want to go there. Okay. Oh, find some barbarians. That's cool. Um, and let's choose our production. What are we going to build? What are we going to build? Hagia Sophia. We don't need it. Public baths. Would be alright. Barracks. Yeah, let's build some barracks. Um, not really for now, but more, more in the future. School of Scribes, let's finish building that. And let's send this over here. Yeah. Get access to those luxury resources and hopefully uh, increase the time that a golden age takes to come around, which is exactly what we're after. Not like it's a major priority at the moment, but uh, but anything, any bonus we can get is, is always good. Where are you going to expand to next? Okay, over there. Um, I think... I think... I think we're done with uh, this guy. I don't think we really need you anymore, buddy. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry to see you go. But we'll keep these two workers as they're they're the ones that are busy at the moment.
good. So next turn we'll be able to get this guy into here, hopefully, and uh, oh, oh, an alliance with Germany, that would be good. That would be good. And uh, no, you're not having open borders. I do not think so. Not at all. I'm surprised Germany hasn't commented on the fact that I bought those two tiles. I mean, usually that's something that you would expect Germany to complain about, or any civilization to complain about, if I'm honest. No, next turn. Next turn, we'll get you there. Next turn. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Ruins, we're, we're past the point that ruins are, are useful uh, at this stage in the game. So we're just going to leave those ruins. These barbarians are probably not a major issue. I don't know why Cape Town hasn't taken them out, because it's like literally right across the borders. No, you're not You're not having that. Why? Why would, why would you need to come through my borders? There is no reason why you would need to come through my borders. There is no reason at all, and I don't know why he's asking, because he doesn't need to. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah. You know, just just stay put there, and, and we'll get you in. And you can come and build a farm over here. Nice, there we go. Good, so I think that'll do it for uh, for this episode. My name has been Over the Potato. If you've enjoyed this, then please like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!